Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Pop Culture. An abbreviated session today, but that's okay. Panera Bread's being sued again. Their caffeinated drinks are killing people. I don't know if you've been to Panera Bread, if you ever liked Panera Bread. It used to be our, one of our favorite restaurants. But now if you go to Panera Bread, every portion, every sandwich is like half the size. Same price, half the size. All right. This is a funny story. This woman right here. Her name is Rosemary Hain, mother of four, pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor assault. You know what she did? She threw a hot bowl of Chipotle food at a Chipotle worker. Was sentenced to 30 days in jail and 60 days working at a fast food restaurant. You don't throw hot Chipotle at a worker's. Come on. (laughs) Although when I get my Chipotle, it's cold. I microwave it. All right, Taylor Swift's the time person of the year. You know what I thought this through? And when you think about her concerts and you think that we got Joe Biden and morons in government, um, they could have made Trump, obviously, in a year because of all his, you know, problems this year. But you'd have to say Taylor Swift's probably the person of the year. She conquered concert tours. And then what does she do? She conquers the NFL. Now she's conquering Kelsey. All right, this was great. After a concert of Hank Williams Jr., apparently a lot of the concert goers went to a Waffle House. The Waffle House broke out and they started apparently in the bathroom in a spontaneous rendition of uh, uh, the, uh, oh, the way legit. Jen, boy will yeah, no, not Country Boys Survive. Uh, my family, God, what's the name of the song? Josh Wentz, I'm killing his story. <laughs> It. It's about his family. Right. Uh, I'm getting Parkinson. And my producer's no help. He doesn't listen to country music. Uh, I'll find it. Because I sent it to family you. Family tradition. Yeah, there you go. You said family. He's close. Family tradition. Yeah. It's okay. Don't edit any of this. <laughs> we like the people to know how raw we are. <laughs> family tradition broke out. It's a family tradition. Yeah. You know what the family tradition is? Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I watch the hist- I'm watching the history of country music. Ken Burns is Ken Burns a liberal flake, but he makes a great documentary. I'm watching the history of country music. I am learning a lot. I'm halfway through it. Last night, Hank Williams Jr. died in a car wreck. Sad, sad, sad. You know who the real father of country music is considered a real father? I never knew this. I didn't even know who his name was. Jimmy Rogers. He was like post-depression. And he died young. And then Hank Williams died. Hank Williams looked like he was 45. He was only 29. (laughs) And then um, Patsy Cline died in a plane crash. She was only 30. Jimmy Rogers, I think, was like 32. Good die young come from. Only the good die young. That's right. I hope I live to be old and I'm bad. (laughs) This is the Bull Talk Every Talk as their day. We'll do better next week. (laughs) 